Hey guys, Tyler Tamerlane back with more obscurities and miniature, and today we're going to go back to Malifaux because it's probably the second most favorite place I often visit when it comes to gaming stuff. So we've got the Guild Investigators, which I've been meaning to get around to building, so I figured what the hell, let's do it today. We've got our fat guy carrying a bunch of bodies, and we've got Skinny Girl, which are the most descriptive names I could come up with on short notice. Let's take a look at what's in the box. Obviously, the need help thing, a piece of foam, directions, and the older bases. Um, I think these are the older ones. I know Weird seems to have actually switched off. Or maybe they didn't. So, well, there's like these ones? Maybe they're the older ones, but I know they had a lot of bases too. Anyway. I'm rambling. So these are the ones with the magnet parts. So we have the one longer sprue rather than the two individual parts. Let's see what we got going on here. Lots of little pieces. So we got two parts of the head. That's a new one. Okay. With the little buns there, I'm assuming this is the female counterpart. And it looks like the male's head right there. Where's this big... There's the carpet he is carrying. Random hands. Actually, this doesn't look too bad. I gotta say, for Malifaux figures, this this looks doable. I'm not putting any individual fingers or pipes or fun stuff like that. So I think we'll survive. Let me grab the glue. Let me grab those clippers, and let's see what is in store for us here, shall we? All right, our investigators are about 99% complete. The only reason I say that they're 99% complete. It's because they're not glued to the base. Let's take a look at Fatty here. I really like him. Uh, he had this weird opening spot in his hat that I just put some glue on and I'll file down later. He fit together pretty well. Looks like he's got a pistol holster there, but no gun in sight. Gunk falling out of his carpet that he's all tied up. Big ugly seam lines that I really need to clean up as well. And I want to say there was a spot where I just did not do a good job of... Yeah, right here. Nice little gap that really could have been filled in by me but i didn't so i need to take care of that he's a little shorter than i thought he looks pretty wide he is pretty wide but he just i was expecting him to be a little bit taller whereas his female counterpart is obviously quite tall she went together really smoothly i'm not a fan of her pants pantaloons capris whatever you want to call them but i do like how she's kind of adjusting her glove there Hopefully I can do those glasses justice. I've had a hard time painting glasses on Malifaux figures. Again, big mess back here. Nothing that can't be cleaned up. Overall construction was quite smooth, so I was happy about that. I do enjoy the puzzle piece like nature of most Malifaux models, if you guys haven't noticed. How they stack up compared to most other Malifaux models? Well, not too bad. Obviously, that's the range they're meant for, and if we toss in some other random models, like a Games Workshop figure, or a Privateer Press one, or heck, even a modern GW, you can see they kind of still have a nice sense of scale. Let's throw in our random Mantic Gorilla Basilian there, with a hopefully, here. You know, would make for an interesting inquisitorial review. I think with these kinds of figures, you could really, you know, toss in a couple of cybernetics and servo skulls, strap a bolt or two of them somewhere, and, you know, they make a nice little Inquisitor entourage. But, you know, I know people don't like to mix and match GW with other companies, but I think that they're a fun little set of figures. So I'm going to be painting up a, quite a few guild top hats. I've got the jury as well. If you've seen the videos on her, and hopefully we will get them together soon. Sad thing is, I have no real interest in playing Guild for 3rd Edition. So, we'll see. We'll, we'll paint them up at least. I'm sure I'll pick up one of those Arsenal decks and we'll hold on to it. But it's probably going to be Arcanists and Ten Thunders for me. Once more. So, cool little models. Check them out. Because again, some of these later 2nd Edition releases, like these guys, really got overshadowed as the game seemed to be petering out and... 3rd edition was ramping up, and he seemed to be able to find a lot of those models for pretty good prices. So if you just want something interesting and very different than your usual realm of models, I'm thinking some kind of horror game like Fear and Faith, they might be great for that as well. Heck, make him into a serial killer in some kind of a slash or slash stalker game. Might work too. With that said, this is Eilert Tamerlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching. Check out some of our other videos, and we'll be back for more as long as you guys are. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.